What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest and Trade with Josh. We're going to go over Matic. Uh, we've been validated our five wave structure to the upside, and we're going to get into that. So we're sitting at 43 cents. We're down 18% on the day. Uh, we're seeing a market cap of 3.47 billion. 24 hour volume has increased to 932 million. A lot of selling pressure came in here for our friend Maddox. So we're gonna start here on the one hour time frame. So a couple of reasons why we've invalidated this five wave move to the upside. And the first one is the wave four pullback. The maximum pullback is a 0.5 retracement, 50%. And you can see we're all the way below the 0.786. So there's one reason. And the second reason is your wave four pullback can never break the wave one high. And you can see we've broken right below the wave one high. So that completely invalidates this structure. And what we have to look at here is a correct that this is a corrective wave so if we pop over to the four hour chart what i'm looking at here for our friend matic i've uh, been having some internet issues today come on don't do this to me now <laughs> all right guys so what we may be looking here for our friend matic is that this was all a part of the wave three so i'm going to quickly pull this down this is part of the corrective wave four and we're still looking for a wave five that could take you all the way down to about 18 cents. So I'm quickly gonna take this Fibonacci out here and I'm gonna zoom out so you can see everything. So this could be possibly an extended wave three and it does meet the requirements here. If we take a Fib retracement from the bottom of wave one all the way up to the top, usually your wave three, as I like to mention in my videos here, sorry guys, having a little bit of issues getting this right. Usually your wave three is gonna land in between the point two and the 0.2618. And then you can see we broke just below the 2.618. Now in rare cases, it can come all the way down to four and a quarter, but usually in between the two and the 2.618 with the Fibonacci pulled from the bottom of wave one to the top, and we broke just below the 2.618. So this can easily still be a wave three, and this was a wave four correction because we invalidated the five wave move. We invalidated a reversal to the upside as we failed to create a five wave structure. So this can all be a part of your corrective wave four, some sort of ABC correction. And we're looking to come down to 18 cents. Now, if we were to come up and break this high, um, then we'd have to do a recount, but I really don't see it as this is a wave one, this is a wave two pullback, wave three, wave four. I really don't see that because the, the smaller wave counts doesn't suggest that. You can't find a proper wave count for a five wave move with, with proper fib retracements. There was only three waves. So that signals to us that this is corrective and we're still looking for that fifth wave down to quite possibly take you down here to about 18 cents which lines up with this cluster of support. If I pop this back over to the daily, just bear with me, uh, bother. <laughs> So as you can see right here, there is a cluster of support right around that 18 cent price target right in this area. So if Bitcoin's gonna come down to you know 10 to 13K and Matic will easily come down to 18 cents. And from the current price, that's a drop of about 55% for our friend Matic. Now, if we look here on the daily, we're trying to hold that 44 cent, which is a major level of support, previous resistance. So crucial for, for Matic to hold this level if we are gonna see a bounce. But the fact that we invalidated the five wave move is, is a negative sign in my opinion and could be a strong sign that this is a corrective move and we're still looking for that final fifth wave where we've come down wave one, wave two correction. This was your wave three, corrective wave four, still looking for that wave five to take you down to that 18 cent price target. In my opinion, I would be very, very surprised to see Matic come up and break these highs um, now that we've seen some, some significant pullback and invalidated that five wave move to the upside. Sometimes that happens with Elliott wave theory, you have to go off what the chart is telling you and you have to restructure your wave count if it invalidates the current wave count that you had. And this was our wave five bottom, but the fact that we failed to make a five wave impulse to the upside suggests to me that this could be a corrective wave four. This was all a part of the wave three and we're still looking for that final wave five unless the chart tells us differently and we come up and we break this wave four high. So that's it for this one. I did get stopped out on my trade here. Um, let me quickly pop it back open to the one hour chart. So I was looking to trade that wave five, take my Fibonacci here. So we were looking for that wave four pullback, which is usually stops at the 0.5. So I had equal amounts of the 0.382, the 0.5 with a stop loss just underneath the 0.618. And you can see it got stopped out. I was on 1.2X leverage, it was about 12, 13% loss, which I was perfectly comfortable with as we just had a 60% rip from our entry 
entry, 70% rip from our entry. I was taking profits along the way uh, with our spot trade. I always put way more money into my spot trades as our the strategy with my spot trading is much less risky. So a 12% loss on that leverage trade really isn't a big deal when I just had a 70% rip from the entry on the spot trade. So if you want my exact entries, exits, and take profits, 70% move from our entry with Matic and a 33% move with our entry from Seoul. Um, you can sign up through the Patreon link, $10 a month. Everything else is accessible at 350 USD, including 2,000 members posting chart patterns and talking all things crypto. $4,500 trading on Bybit. You can sign up through the links, and I'll see you in the next video. All right, much love. Take care.